The niqab, um, I think the, the way that I describe it is to call it a portable sensory deprivation chamber. I think that's probably the, the best description wow. I can give to somebody. So once you've put it on, it inhibits your ability to hear properly, to see properly, to touch properly. I used to have to wear these gloves that were delivered from Saudi Arabia. Not an inch of skin was seen. So I used to wear the niqab that had like the second layer that went over my eyes as well. Right. Because when I had just my eyes showing, he was like, yeah, that's no. And even really, honestly, the difference between a hijab and a niqab is, you know, to put it really crudely, I say it's like the difference between being raped and gang raped. You know, it's mm. they're both horrible things, but one piece of cloth just happens to be bigger than the other piece of cloth. But they're all coming from the same place. They're all coming from a misogynist idea that a woman is lesser than. It all comes from victim blaming. It all comes from slut shaming. It's, it's all about subjugating mm. women. And then it's to different degrees and different colors and different styles. But it's, it, that's the ethos of, of, the, yeah. of the hijab, which is why I have... A lot of my effort is in speaking up against the hijab because I see it as the physical representation of, of what I'm fighting against, right? So I, I, I'm fighting against the subjugation of women, but that's not something that you can see or feel or touch. The hijab is, it is the, it is, it, it's like the handcuffs on a slave, right? So you can see the handcuffs. And once they're removed, honestly, I've seen this with myself and with countless women. Once you make the decision about what you're going to put on your head, the next step is to decide what you're going to put in your head. You free your head and the next step is to free your mind. Mm -hmm. You know, you're just so controlled, physically controlled by this piece of cloth that when it's removed, you have to put up with so much pushback when you take it off. You are attacked incessantly. My mother threatened to kill me when she saw me without a hijab on, and I was still a Muslim at the time. <laughs>